Okay. Um, I've been following your teachings for a little while, and I, I love them. As far as I can feel, there's no resistance there. I really believe what you're saying. It resonates with me. I, I, I feel that there's something special about me, about us, about everything. Um, I just, I wonder if you can guide me towards being a more effective allower. I just, I, I just feel that I could, my life could be such a beautiful magic carpet ride. I know that my vortex contains so many things that I've created, and I get these moments where I just feel it. I know they're there. For example, I'm, I'm in the process of looking for a job, and I can just taste it. I know that there's something out there that's delicious, that's for me, that's satisfying and fulfilling. But I, I have a feeling that I'm, I understand it better than I'm than I am at applying it. And so I was wondering if you can tell me what's tripping me up or what if, you know, if I'm on the right track. Let's talk about it a little bit. And, and you will, you'll feel, you'll feel a, a shift as we visit here just a little bit. You said some really good things. Everyone really understands and they relate because, because everyone is reaching for something that is just beyond what they are realizing. So everybody understands that gap that you are describing. First, we want to say to you that if you could think in terms of having already done the choosing, life caused you to put what you want in your vortex and source is already on it. And we know those words, they may be hard for you to hear, but nothing could be more accurate. The lining up of circumstances and events for the satisfaction of you. But the next step is the realization of it. And that's the part that you're talking about. You said, help me with my allowing. So here are a series of words that will soothe you and you will feel resonance with this. And then we'll talk about some specific things that you might do to apply them. First and foremost, you're not trying to find that job. You want to prepare your vibrational atmosphere so it can find you. That's really key. Because when you're looking for something that you can't find, what's your vibrational stance? I can't find it, which means you can't find it because you can't find something that's lost and you can't find something that you can't find. You can't find it, but it isn't that you can't find it. It is, as you said, that you are not allowing it. And the reason that you're not allowing it is because you can't find it. <laughs> so what you want to do is think in terms of all that you've done. You've lived life. You've selected carefully. You've put things in your vortex. You know what you want. So you can find the feeling of it. You could find the feeling of it, even though you can't find the specifics of it. So when you take the time to find the feeling of it, now you're no longer preventing it from coming. It's like this. It's like everything that you've asked for. And we're not kidding you at all about this. This is the way that it is. Everything that you've asked for is all queued up and the path is being given to you in the form of ideas, in the form of thoughts. In other words, source within you is giving you impulses, thinking about you, thinking about what you want, thinking about the full fruition of what you want. So there's a steady stream of path coming to you, coming to you, coming to you, coming to you. But so many of you, it's like you think you're in a Boston rainstorm and there are no rainstorms like Boston <clears throat> rainstorms with the wind gusts and the rain. You've got your umbrella out there like this against, <laughs> against the wind currents of everything you want. So even though it's flowing to you, it's flowing at you, it's flowing to you. You've got your umbrella up because you're so wadded up in reality that you are not letting in the improvement, the idea. So did you feel the improvement in that? Did you feel the new resonance in that, that it's about allowing it to flow to you, recognizing that it is flowing to you and preparing yourself, your vibrational atmosphere, your mood, your attitude, so that you let in what's flowing to you so that you can be the realizer of it. You see, as we visit with you, talking to you about creation there is a little bit of a learning gap awareness gap visiting with humans who like knock on wood see it hear it smell it taste it touch it manifestations and us who are vibrational experts we know about vibration 
So we are looking for ways to explain to you how you turn thoughts to things. How do you turn vibration into see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it? Well, you don't turn it into it. You tune into it. You tune into the realization of it. Your television is emitting a signal and your tuner receives a signal and the manifestation appears on the screen. It's not different from that. But you want to make your reality different than it is. And so often you don't acknowledge that you are receivers who are practicing frequencies until the signal comes into clearer and clearer and clearer and clearer view. And that's what the feeling of getting on your path is. That's the feeling of stepping onto your path. So the next thing we want to say to you is it's not about finding your path. It's about knowing, understanding that your path is coming right to you. You just want to step on it at the right time. The path's right there. There's a gestation period of all things, just like when a, a woman is pregnant, there's a gestation period. You don't want to give birth the day after conception. You don't, <laughs> you, you, you want the cooperative components to assemble. And the same thing is true of everything that you're creating. There is a gestation period, but you have control over the length of it by the amount of attention you give to the frequency that you are emitting to your allowing. So you might say, well, Abraham, I think I've heard some or all of that from you on many occasions. So what's different for me right now? The difference is we want you to focus upon being the realizer of the emotion. We want you to care about how you feel. Most everybody's living a really conditional, conditional emotional response. And we want you to find a way to emit or to accomplish or to conjure, to accomplish an emotion apart from a condition, which means you have to get pretty general. So tell us in singular emotional words terms what this job that is on its way to you so clear so close what does it feel like in the middle of that one word emotional so, word exciting all right what else satisfying right rest with those words for just a minute satisfying it's satisfying now what does satisfying mean let's let's explore the emotional content the basic vibrational starting place momentum beingness of satisfaction what is satisfaction what other emotional words help explain satisfaction fulfilling fulfilling proud proud um, nice feels good feels feels like ease. ease it feels sure it yeah. feels it feels comfortable feels it, right it feels clarifying. clarifying it feels clear clear it feels clear it feels sure it feels good it feels it feels it feels perfect it feels use emotional words if you can it feels it feels Emotional words. <laughs> I, I, well, not emotional words, emotion that you're describing with words. We're not looking for emotional words. We're looking for the feeling of a wonderful work environment. It calls me, it feeds me, it inspires me, it inspires soothes me. me, it is me, it represents me, it fulfills me, it inspires me, it excites me, it it calls me it is me I belong here I love being here I I love now expand it a little further I love co-creating I love engaging with lovely people I love co-creating I love us being more I love bringing me to the table and love attraction matching me with others like me I love the more that we are as we show up there I love the feeling of being together I love the feeling of movement and momentum I love the feeling of inspiration I love ideas popping in my mind 
Now, we haven't talked one little bit about anything that you might do there, but can't you feel yourself there? Don't you want to go there? Don't you want to be in the middle of that? Don't you love being the center of that? Don't you, don't, aren't you excited to see what the universe will deliver to you in terms of ideas and inspiration and rendezvous with others, given that momentum that you've got started there? Can't you feel the momentum of that? Do you trust that law of attraction feels you, that law of attraction knows you, that Absolutely. law of attraction is responding to you? Can you feel how your signal has become strong just as a result of this conversation? Can you feel that you're emitting something entirely different than what you were before? Can you feel the clarity in what you're emitting? Can you feel the sureness? Can you feel the signal that you've got going out there? And can you feel that that signal is matching all of the things that you put into this vortex of creation? That that vibrational reality has just been matched can you feel that you are turning those thoughts that you put there incrementally to things can you feel that impulses are about to move from your vortex to where you are can you feel that there's a melding a resonating a blending a merging between you in your now and all that you have vibrationally become can you feel how the things in your vortex cannot be reflected deflected they cannot be deflected by your umbrella anymore because you put it down you're no longer deflecting what's in there so in the way that source is flowing it to you has always been has always been there has been nothing between you receiving everything that you've been asking for and the full manifestation of it nothing between it except your vibrational shield that you've had up there which you just took down as a result of doing some vibrational emotional work just now you see how it works that's how the thoughts that you put into your vortex turn to things Oh, those thoughts, they got big and they got momentum and they got sophisticated. They have been evolving. They've been gestating in that vortex. They have been becoming. Now you are in the delivery room. <laughs> Doesn't have to be painful. 